This is Paul from Samuel Mobiles and this is a quick review on the Sony Ericsson Xperia U. So I'll take you around the phone first. So obviously this is the front. Back, you've got a uh, 5 megapixel rear camera there, which videos in 720p as well. Very nice camera, does some brilliant pictures. And you've also got a speaker on the back as well, as well as like a flash, light flash sort of thing. Um, and then you've got a 3.5 headphone jack at the top and then you've got your standard USB there and that's basically, and then obviously you've got your mic and everything at the bottom um, so that's basically the outside of the phone and then you've obviously got this like blue line across the bottom which will also go to pink uh, see through, I think it does about 5 or 6 different colours which is different, I quite like that, that's a good feature about the phone so, start off with a few, few of the features so I already said it's got a 5 megapixel camera with LED flash, you've also got um, the video in, in HD as well, 720, and then you've got a 8 gig storage on the actual phone, which is pretty good. You've also got an FM radio, which is nice. You've obviously got Bluetooth as well, and you've got a RAM of uh, 512 megabytes. Okay, let's show you a few features on the phone. I'll show you what it runs like on the internet first. I think it runs pretty smooth. This is connected to my wireless. So there you go. That runs quite smooth. For, for the price of the phone, bearing in mind this is £180 to buy off Sony Ericsson's website, or you can get it at the moment, you can get it in phones for you for £116 plus £10 top up in the UK, which is pretty good. I mean, the SIM free one off the websites for £180 is not too bad. So it does load up web pages pretty quick as well. Come back out of that, we're gonna there you go. Just come back out of this, we're gonna go to a few pictures. So there you go. It does load up pages pretty fast. For the price of the phone, I think it's brilliant. There you go. So the web page, the, the browsing is brilliant. I'm just going to take a picture and I'll show you what the cam what the picture is like. Obviously, you're not going to be able to see it's fantastic, but I'll just show you what it's like. Um, so taking a picture so that's the actual picture of what I've just taken which I I think it's actually a brilliant camera actually it's probably I would, I would have said it's fairly up there with cameras Sony Ericsson's have always been great with cameras anyway even going back to like something like the Sony Ericsson K800 brilliant phone it was a uh, I think it was a cold, cold, cold Dolson lens or something like that. So yeah, that was pretty good. Um, let's show you a few more features about the phone. So obviously, it's running Android. You've also got your uh, Play Store there as well, so where you can download the games. The games run on this rare. They run very good on the phone as well. Um, it's smooth to go through. Touchscreen is very, very nice. I mean, Sony Ericsson. I've not been a fan of them over the last couple of years. I think a lot of their phones are actually shocking. I mean, the um, I was never that impressed with the uh, Sony Ericsson X10, the big X10. I was never impressed with that. And the Mini, I thought, was absolutely shocking. Uh, the Mini Pro wasn't that much better. So, But they're, they're starting to get back in it a little bit, Sony Ericsson now, with um, obviously Xperia U, you've got the Xperia S, I think you've got Xperia T and you've got the Arc S. They're getting, they're getting back slightly. They're not quite there yet, but there you go. But for the price of this phone, it's well worth the money if you're looking for a, like, a kid's Christmas present. £116 in phone to you, obviously in the UK. Um, I don't know what the price is abroad. I'd imagine obviously you could buy it off Sony Ericsson's website for 180 SIM free. Um, this was bought from uh, phones for you. This was a um, Vodafone one, and it comes in free. 
so result as they mostly most of the time they do from phones to you so yeah it runs smooth it's very nice it's got a uh, one gigahertz dual call processor in it so that's why it runs pretty good so it's got the YouTube channel on it so let's just go to that I'll show you what it's like playing videos So, yes, it is very good playing videos as well. Sound quality is good as well. Hi, this is Paul from Sound One Mobiles, and this is an app review for He-Man, the most powerful game in the universe. So I was browsing through the app store this morning, and I see this, and I thought of my childhood. Um, so, yeah, there you go. Plays videos very nicely as well. It's, got, it's not a bad size screen, actually. So you've got a few more bits on the phone. Obviously you've got stuff like the uh, Google Maps there. And because obviously it's Android, you've got most of, a lot of the stuff's built in. You've got your Gmail as well, all built in. WhatsApp also comes built into it as well, which is right bonus. I know you don't have to pay for it in the Android network, but as a result, um, you've got a stopwatch, um, World Times, uh, Google Plus, there's a, there's a lot of features on this phone. So it also does the uh, 3D sweep panorama. So obviously you can do the panoramic pictures and stuff like that, which is quite a nice feature as well. You've got alarm clock. Facebook's built in as well. It, well, sort of built in. It comes on it sort of thing. Um, yeah. You've got a voice, voice search as well if you want to do that. Very nice phone. And as, a, as I said, for the price, you can't really moan about what it is I mean it's definitely a little kids phone for Christmas for you like a teenager brilliant pictures and obviously you can go on the internet it's also obviously wireless as well I'm running this on wireless at the moment very nice thanks for watching please like the video and subscribe